Hey beautiful Sagittarius, it's CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for all the love you've given me on this channel, I give it right back. Know that I appreciate you so, so much. As I promised Saggy to give back to you, I am doing a daily uh, reading for you um, each day this week. So this reading will be for you for Thursday, which will be October 27, 2022. Only take what flows to you because it is a general, it is not personal, um, meaning private one-to-one. -one. Um, but if you do want that, if you'd like me to do a private reading for you, that information is down below. But otherwise, Sagittarius, let's see what is waiting for you on Thursday. I hope you're doing beautiful and that life is being extra kind. Okay, let's get into this. All right, Spirit, thank you for Sagittarius for Thursday, October 27th. What message do you have for Sagittarius? Okay, show me clearly. Ooh, okay, I thought something was gonna jump out. What message for Sagittarius? Okay, that one right here. Here and now, okay, this is all about being in the present moment. And I actually love this kind of energy. Um, and this reminder, this is a card that um, Spirit is saying, okay, Sag, whatever's going on right now in your life, um, th this is a reminder to be in the moment, like in the now. Not always easy. I get that. It's not always. We're, sometimes we're living in the past. Sometimes we're really we're thinking about the future. Um, but Spirit is reminding you on this Thursday to really try and stay present, to stay in the now so that you don't miss any of the beautiful things that are around you and that you can experience. I like this energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. No place like home. And I'm saying it like that because you know, I was just thinking when I was meditating and, and getting my decks organized, I had this feeling of no place like home. And this card appeared in my mind, right? And now it is on the bottom of the deck. Oh, I like this. So this feels really, really exciting. It feels grounding as well. No place like home on the bottom of the deck is like you are going to be feeling or you should be feeling or you will be feeling that wherever you are at on this Thursday, obviously energy can flow, um, you know, time is fluid. You're going to feel like it's no place like home. I feel like things are going to feel um, very tranquil, very safe. Um, it's wherever, whatever this is relating to, even if you're traveling right now, for some reason they just gave me that image. Um, and some of you might be, right? You're, the energy around you, where you are, is going to feel like no place like home. And for me, home, you know, is my sanctuary. It is my place of safety. It's that place where I can let my hair down and really just allow myself to be my true authentic self. So I feel there's a really beautiful message coming through from Spirit of you need to just focus on the here and now. And even if you're not in this energy, of feeling like you're home and that you're safe. Maybe you've started a new job or maybe you've traveled or something has changed in your family life um, that it's feeling awkward and it's not feeling comfortable. They're reminding you just to stay in the present moment at this time. You are going to end up feeling like you're, you are home. Um, they just draw drew my eyes to the doors opening up on the egg here. Um, so again, that is almost like a feeling of home as well. Wow, really cool, cool energy. I like how this is going so far. Okay, let's get into your three card spread. I will be using my fountain deck this time. Okay, let's start. All right, Spirit, what message do you have for Sagittarius for Thursday? Please show me clearly. What message do you have? Okay, we got the King of Swords. All right really kind of doing um it feels like you're going to be quite analytical maybe a little bit more on thursday really saying and speaking what your truth is what you want um you know the king of swords he doesn't have a lot of emotions because he's he's air uh, but he's also like boss mode too uh yeah he's like the 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 counselor or the uh no not the counselor wrong word um more like the advisor you know can be a lawyer an attorney um but he's really kind of like no bullshit kind of um, attitude but he is to me he always kind of feels like a go-getter but boss kind of energy and this doesn't matter male or female it's the energy that is coming out so I feel it's really important for you to 
when Thursday comes, um, really say what's on your mind, speak your truth, uh, so that you, because I'm getting a little bit of a disrupt, disruption going on um, that might be around you here. So I feel like that's gonna be really important. Okay, let's continue. Um, we've got the Ace of Swords on the bottom, so a lot of air energy coming through for you, Sag. Two more. Two more cards, please, beautiful spirit. For Sagittarius. Oh, we got a lot, okay. Knight of Wands on the bottom, okay, there you are showing up. Okay, look, we've got the Five of Cups that flew out. We've got the Eight of Cups. We've got the Two of Coins. Wow, we do have a lot here. Uh, okay, we have the King of Cups. How do you want me to lay these? Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. We've got the Seven of Swords and we've got the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Now I understand why... For sure, the King of Swords. I said I felt some kind of disruption. Saji, I don't know if it's a person that is in your um, your family or your career. Uh, it kind of feels a little bit more work like this for me. Uh, but there's a need for this truth to be spoken here. I don't know if someone has stolen from you, taken from you, tried to rip you off in some way. I'm feeling that. Because we've got the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords that also came out. So it just kind of feels like this is energy of someone else um, that has been affecting you in some way shape or form maybe even in your home life right doesn't have to be your romantic partner or anything it could be it, who knows it could be friend it could be siblings it could be anyone but it feels like there is this need for you to really speak your truth and really stand firm in your values and what you know to be true for you. Um, because I feel like someone has done something behind your back here. And with the Ten of Swords, it feels like it was quite painful. Um, it felt, it feels like it is, um, I just feel like there might be a confrontation on Thursday. That, and that's how I'm going to put it. Because that's how they're giving it to me. I feel like you've been sad. You've been disappointed is the better word. Thank you, Spirit. You've been disappointed about this one person or this this person that has done something that has not been completely upright, that has been kind of sneaky here. Um, and you've been feeling sad. And I feel, or disappointed, okay? Because they just said not sad. It's more disappointed. Um, and there is a difference. You're kind of looking at what you put into this relationship, however that might be, and you're saying, I don't want this anymore. Because the Eight of Cups is showing up next, which is about wanting to walk away, wanting to leave the situation, wanting to leave the relationship, heading off in a different direction because you know what you've experienced is not what you want here. It's followed by the Two of Coins, and then we get to the King of Cups. Two of Coins is a, a balancing act. So I'm wondering if there's been someone in your circle or around you um, on a more of a daily basis kind of thing that has done some things, doesn't have to be horrible, horrible, like robbery or whatever, but could. I'm really kind of picking that up with the Seven of Swords, that they took something from you or they did something behind your back here. Um, and I almost feel like you've been juggling whether you should continue having this person around you or if you should you know say see you later here and I don't know what you're going to be choosing but I have to say that you do have the eight of cups the eight of cups which is normally spirit's way of saying you're walking away from, from walking away from it you're no longer juggling so interesting I didn't know how they wanted me to lay it and then just as I'm talking to you this is how they want it to be regardless you are going to be speaking your truth that's the whole big message here it is going to bring you to a place of emotional balance. King of Cups. Beautiful energy of loving, being protected, protecting yourself, feeling happy, feeling um, proud of yourself, I'm really even getting here, for standing up for yourself and not allowing this person or situation to do it to you anymore. My goodness, I hope this is making sense, which is telling me why you're going to then feel like, Oh, I feel back centered. I feel back in alignment with myself. I've spoken my truth. I've stood up for myself. I'm doing this in the now because this is this card here and now is not about the past. It's not about the future. It's about you. Actually, I'm getting the feeling that this is something you're going to do on Thursday. Um, speaking your truth, making the move so that you can find your emotional balance because the King of Cups is a lovely energy. He is about love, um, but he also is not. He, he's emotional, but he also is 
very grounded in his emotions. So he doesn't get swayed easily either, right? Yes, he's water, but he doesn't just fall for every line, hook, and sink, um, whatever that saying is. Um, sinker, I think it is. He doesn't fall for that. He's wise too because he's a king, right? Um, so I, that's what I feel like is happening here on Thursday. Knight of Wands on the bottom. Ooh, I like this. Ten of Coins next. Knight of Wands. It's like you are making progress. So, you know, maybe you're having to speak up the truth about something in work or it is about someone in your life um, and you're having to make progress here and you are making progress with speaking your truth and it's going to lead you to a place of much better vibration, alignment, happiness because you stood up for yourself and we also have the Ten of Pentacles showing up in your reading. Like I said, I feel this may be more about your work atmosphere someone more around your work atmosphere. But then again, when we do work at a place or with people, we tend to have our own family with them too, right? Even if it's dysfunctional as hell, right? So again, this can apply either way. But look, you got the 10 coins. This speaking your truth, this um, really calling the shots and saying how it truly is, leads you to a place of being at home again within yourself. And I feel after a, quite a while of struggling. So very interesting. I'm going to pull up my um, Lightseer's deck. I just want to see if Spirit has any other messages. What was underneath that? Five of Wands. Okay, so there's that conflict. All right, is there anything else, Spirit, you have for Sagittarius for Thursday? For Thursday. Whatever has made you feel off course, unbalanced, if this is resonating with you, I feel you are really, you're dropping the coins and you're saying, no, this is how it's going to be now. I've seen how you've taken from me. I've seen that you, you've tried to do something behind my back. Man, maybe some, maybe you've actually had, I'm going to show you, look where I stopped shuffling. It's five of swords. Well, the swords energy here, Saggy. Um, and if you're saying, I don't have a clue what the hell you're talking about, this could just be a, um, a side note that Spirit is saying, you know, just have your eyes open, you know, don't be afraid to speak your truth. If you feel someone's doing something sneaky behind you, seven of swords is my card. That is someone who's doing something behind your back and they're thinking they're getting away with it. Now, because it's a company with a 10 of swords, it almost feels like did they put 10 knives in your back here, 10 swords in your back. Um, so I feel you are, there's an ending and you are make, you're the one calling it. You're the one that's calling it out. Five of Swords on the bottom. See, someone trying to get away with something um, and they didn't care what it cost you, Saggy. That pisses me off. Okay. Nevertheless, you win. That's that's how I feel. Okay, Spirit, what else do you have for Saggy? All right. This one. Five of Cups again. Man. Okay. So... Maybe sadness is really affecting you, especially obviously if this is about someone in your life, your family or your lover or, you know, um, that it's been quite disappointing. I just want to go again. I want to see if they want to give you anything for the outcome of this. For Thursday, Thursday for Sagittarius. You definitely have been sad. You definitely been had a big disappointment. And I feel like you just are going to speak your truth and you're walking away from it. You're no longer juggling it. You're not going to tolerate it anymore. This one. I'm, I can't. Five of swords again. We now have one, two, three fives. Plus this showed up before. Yeah, there we go. There's the end. The world. And completed. It's done. You are making the choice and good for you, Saggy. Because whoever did this kind of stuff to you... Mm -mm. I don't think that they are worthy of another opportunity. Obviously, you can do whatever you're guided to do. But this is, is um, someone has really kind of done some stuff for you. I think they've taken advantage of you. And shame on them. Shame on them. Uh, you are now going to call the shots. Come Thursday, you are going to feel like you're back in that sanctuary. Because I am distinctively was feeling from the very beginning that this has kind of rattled you. Um, for some of you, it's rattled you a lot. And so, you know, sending you big, big hugs whoever did this to you. Just want to see what's under here. I have Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Hangman. Different perspective. Okay. Page of Cups I find interesting because it's it's almost like this other person or people, it could be more, but I feel more it's one, 
really made you believe that they were the one, you know, that they were the the one for you romantically, that they were going to be your good business partner, um, they, you, that they promised you kind of the whole world here, and you really thought that that was going to be the case. Yeah, it, I feel like you are closing the door on this. I really do. And it's bringing you back into your emotional balance. And you deserve that, Saji. You deserve to be able to have peace and feel safe, secure, and feel like you are at home in your body and that you are, the, you know, the energy of this card. I mean, it's just beautiful. I can't really put into words what the energy feels like coming off of it. It's just peace and contentment and stable. So I'm going to leave it there, Saji. This one was kind of a little bit of a heavier one for me. So I am letting you know that I love you. And if someone did this to you, know that you're moving on to a much better place. Make sure you speak your truth. Stand up for yourself. Um, I would say no second chances on this person. But again, this is up to you, right? All right. Saji, I hope this helped. Thank you again so much for the support. Um, I really adore you. And I hope you've enjoyed these readings. Uh, so I guess we'll see you on Friday. I wish you a beautiful day. Yeah. Peace and love and light here. Drop a comment. I'd love to know if this is resonating with you. I'd really love to know because my blood started to get a little fired up when this energy started coming through from, from spirit. So, okay, Saji, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. See you next time.